Global Health Series number 71 and Professor Sylvan Ozukeke. I want to discuss measles. We can also call it Rebola. Measles is a highly contagious illness caused by a virus. We've been talking of virus, we've been talking of infections, and by now we should be conversant with these two times. The symptoms will be fever, cough, running nose, then water red eyes, and after a few days the rashes will develop and get all over the body and last up to a week. Measles can cause diarrhea, it can cause ear infection, it could cause pneumonia or even brain infection. That is why we ought to be very careful. When there is a sign of fever, sign of cough, sign of running nose or red eyes, especially in children, run to the clinic, take them to the hospitals. Since it could cause diarrhea, ear infection, pneumonia and brain infection, it has a very dangerous state for pregnant women. In pregnant women, it could cause early labor, could also cause miscarriage as well as low birth weight. The children will be very tiny and you start wondering what's happening. Measles is spread person to person. We've emphasized this question of infection and passing diseases from person to person. So this is one of them and it's very dangerous. When measles is spread from person to person, it could be that person coughing. When you see person cough, coughing unceasingly, or sneezing, or sharing food, or sharing drink, the virus travels through the air or stays on surfaces. So it's not going to tell you, oh, I'm here, I'm coming. It travels through the air. You won't even know when it will enter the person. Four days before the rash appears, and four days after the rash, somebody can contract or contact measles, and that's dangerous. Those at risk mostly are children. Infants less than 12 months, you have to be careful how you handle them and look at them on a daily basis. Children who are less than 5 years, you have to check them out almost on a daily basis too. When you are bathing them, you are cleaning them, you are, just make sure they don't have this kind of fever or cough or red eyes or running nose. Otherwise something is developing. In pregnant women too, you have to be careful because it is very dangerous for them. And those with immune systems that are very weak also can have measles. So you cannot say because you are grown up, you couldn't have measles. In fact, for people with AIDS and HIV, it is very dangerous when they have measles. They die faster. So when somebody having fever or cough or running nose or red eyes, you have to check him out and possibly get to the clinic, go to the doctor, go to the doctor's office and see whether uh, that person is having diarrhea or ear infection or pneumonia or brain infection. Those are very dangerous issues to handle with. These things are being brought to the public because these are contagious diseases. They can pass from one person to the other. We will continue with Global Health Series number 72 where we talk about rabies. That will be the next thing we are going to discuss. Thank you.